Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today I want to talk about calipers. Uh, this is a caliper from an MG Midget and I've rebuilt it so you can't see me doing it but I'm going to talk to you about what I did. So first of all when you get the caliper you read the instructions in great huge black bold letters that says do not separate the caliper halves. I mean it's just this emphatic warning. It's duplicated in the Moss Motors catalog but you can't rebuild them unless you separate them. Duh. So you take the you take the bolts out that are on the end. You just you know hold the hold this guy by the flange in your in your vise and and use your um, five eight socket. I believe this is a five eight socket. Please tell me it is. Yep, it is. And you can go ahead and, and take those take those bolts out. Then the caliper halves. Uh, this half the, the seam is here and uh, you got the caliper half over on, on this side. Then you place the caliper half between the jaws of your vise and use your blow gun and some air. Psst, psst, psst. And each time you hit it with the psst, the piston comes out a little farther out. You don't want to do this just holding it freely because this piston will travel at an enormous speed and go someplace it shouldn't. Plus behind it is a trail of brake fluid. So you don't, it, nothing takes paint off faster than brake fluid. So you, you don't want that mess. You want it nice and controlled. So put it between the jaws of your vise psst, 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 and, the, and the, uh, the guy comes out. I'll tell you I was doing that one time and I had my thumb doing it the wrong way. That's why I'm telling you to do it the right way. I had my thumb d down here just between the calipers. Uh, I don't know when I was popping them out, but it must have been a whole caliper. And I must have been using the bleeder or something rather. And, and just really carefully, psst, 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 and the, the caliper pistons would move incrementally each time I, I hit it with air. And my uh, late wife Caroline was way down at the end of the shop and she said, hey, Twisty. And I went psst, like that and that, that caliper piston came out and jammed the, the top of my thumbnail and it got all black and blue underneath there. And I tell you, it takes the better part of six months for that, that uh, fingernail to grow all the way out and look not disgustingly horrid so you can go out in public, you know, without having to hide your hands. Put it between the jaws of the vise and ease it out like that and finally it pops out. Then you can go underneath the, uh, um, underneath on the inside and pull out the rubber seals. These are the rubber seals that, that were in there before. Okay, so there's a seal, there's a dust seal on sort of on the outside and then the actual, the actual the seal that, that works it on the inside. And also on the outside is a metal ring. Now these are all rusty and yucky and you can't tell what I'm talking about. But here's the metal ring and that goes around the dust seal. And then the, the seal that actually causes it to work sits a little farther down inside the bore. Now when you have it apart, you don't have to hone it. You don't have to hone the inside of it. Nice to get it clean, really clean, but doesn't have to be honed because the caliper piston doesn't touch the edges there. It only touches this. So it, it's uh, clean it up. Then you take out, there's intermediate drillings. There's a, there's a piece here on the top for a cross drilling and the, uh, and the bleeder screw. You take those out and use your 3 8 fine uh, tap and just go through those holes and clean them up just, just to make sure that they're clean, especially if you've sandblasted the caliper halves. You want to make sure that every little piece of sand is out of there. Sand is your enemy when it comes to, to that. Then once they're all cleaned up, then you can go ahead and re reassemble them. And I, oh, let me step away from the camera. I'm back. So I stepped over to my toolbox and got Silglide. This is by Napa, S-I-L-G-L-Y-D-E. It's, it's uh, compatible with brake fluid. And you smear this stuff, it's like Vaseline. And you smear it all in, inside of the bore. And then you take the dust seal and the, and the, uh, and the, and the, the actual the sealing ring, 
both and you get those all nice and uh, just covered with this this goo uh, then put the put the ceiling ring down on the inside and then use the metal ring and the dust seal put those together all that goo on there will hold the uh, hold the dust seal inside the metal ring and then push the metal ring into the hole that's on top just gently just gently and then use your smallest hammer your gasket hammer to tunk 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 and just keep watching it to make sure it, it's not trying to go in you know on an angle because it'll bend tunk 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 and the set that I just used it turns out that the length was shorter than the original one and they bottomed out when I tunked it too hard and it pushed the the dust seal out so I had to I had to to ease it back up again with a screwdriver just ease it up a little bit so that I could get that dust seal back in there then you take the uh, the piston smear it and the new pistons come with a much greater angle at the bottom there it's really great to to get it in there and make them fit they're really much nicer than the original ones if you're if it's hot I mean if you, you're doing this for real and you want to do a real nice job uh, get the stainless steel pistons and they'll they'll never fail anyway that nice uh, chamfer on them and smear this smear the inside of the hole put this on straight and take a, a take a hammer something larger and just put it in there and push and again you're, you're looking if it doesn't slip right in take a look because it's on an angle straighten it out push it again it'll go right in so you don't force it with a vise or anything you can push it in just by by hand and then when you put the caliper halves back together use red loctite really good stuff and torque these bolts down to about 60 pounds now between the caliper halves there's an o-ring not really an o-ring it's a square o-ring the cross section square it's about this size that is not it I, I couldn't find them when I went to make the video here but it's about that size I think Peter Beetle will correct me if I'm wrong it's a 17h 7679 but Moss sells them along with that asterisk you know you wouldn't need this unless you're separating the caliper halves and the workshop manual says don't separate the caliper halves but you can't rebuild the calipers without without doing that so anyway you've got uh, I talked about chasing the threads getting it clean scrupulously clean and then pushing the whole thing back to together and we end up with a nice set of, of original rebuilt uh, rebuilt calipers uh, you can sandblast them you can paint them whatever you want to do and have them come out nicely the brakes are the most important part of the car just one aside and that is if you're working on MGA calipers from the 1600 there's a pin up, up the middle of, of the of the hole and quite frankly they work better if you take that pin out you can get a grab a hold of the pair of vice grips and tunk 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 pull that pin out it's it's serrated at the bottom and fits into the housing and just use MGB caliper pistons you don't want to use the original MGA pistons the original MGA pistons when you press on the pedal of course the, the pucks come towards each other and there's a spring loading in there to draw them back just a little bit when you take your foot off the brake which means the next time you use it you got to push farther because they you have to displace more fluid to get them to move and it turns out they discovered that was not necessary so by the MGB there's no longer that central pin so your MGA works great without that central pin. Matter of fact, the brakes feel better than they do originally. So that's about the size of it. So it's a, a nice November day, 2023, in the state of Michigan. Wish everybody could live here. No earthquakes, no forest fires, all the fresh water in the world. Till later, safety fast.